Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to take a look at a new PS Vita application called Vita Launcher, and this is version 1.6.1, and it's by Psy33HC, and he's been releasing updates after updates in the last several weeks, which is good, and he's working really hard to get this together, working, he or she, um, but it's a really cool app. It basically just brings everything together in one location. So all of your homebrew games, your apps, your PS Vita games, your Adrenaline games, your ROMs, your Game Boy Advance ROMs, NES, you name it, all together. And that way you can launch any of your games from this app. And there also is a tab for your favorites. That way you can go and select your favorites and you have easy access to play those games but uh, right now I'll be showing you how it works and what we need to do to access our files and depending on how you have your PS Vita set up obviously everyone's different they do whatever uh, works best for them and I'm gonna try to explain the best way to read your ROMs he set it up at default so what we want to do is change it to our specific folders so that way it reads everything what we want to do is change those default folders to our own specific uh, paths in our ps vita the way we have it set up so wherever we have our roms we want to change that default to those path file names that way the application will pick that up and you'll be able to play it through the app so i already have it installed and we are going to take a look at it here real quick but before we move on once you install Vita Launcher, you will need the copy icons. And this uh, is a conjunction with Vita Launcher. So you have to download this in order for you to copy the icons. So <clears throat> the application will not bring over the thumbnails or any artwork. So what this does, it basically just copies them over and brings them to the application so let's go and take a look at these apps so we have copy icons here and we have the launcher so what we want to do first is copy the icons so let's copy icons it takes a little bit of time since i already did it it was really snappy and once you launch launcher for the first time it's going to do a full scan of your folders and when i first downloaded this weeks ago I was having a hard time where it kept crashing and just giving me an error but it looks like it's a little bit more stable and it scans everything and it looks like it's working just fine for me so hopefully you're not having that problem and here are my favorites it looks like it read most of what I have on my PS Vita so here are my Vita games let's whoops I messed that up there we go so going down using the d-pad you can see all of my games here and on the bottom left hand corner we have number of pages so I have three pages of games two that are full and you can see all the artwork here pretty cool and if I select the game it will right away launch it for me so let's go back so I can select one of these games as my favorites by pressing the square button and I will do let's see here <clears throat> sorry my voice is a little rough here uh, let's do Rayman Origins so now there's a little star next to the name let's go to favorites and now it's under my favorites tab that way I don't have to go into the Vita section and go through all the games and select it so this is a nice little feature and you can hit the triangle for settings and you can rescan your game categories now I tried to do this for the PS1 and it stops it just freezes and it just doesn't do anything so what's happening there is that I have to change the default path to the way I have it set up on my SD2 Vita. So I'll explain that here in just a second. So let's go to settings and we can change the style to 
um, a list or favorite view to list hit OK and it can be unique to each page which is pretty cool Let's hit OK whoops Ooh, I made a big mistake so what I just did there was scan my game so now I'll show you where it gets stuck so here in PSP I guess it was a PS1 but it was moving on to PS1 and now it's stuck it's always stuck on the SNK arcade classics and I've been testing this for several days now all right let's go back to settings and here you can rescan games in the PSP category only or rescan all game categories to rebuild cache nice so a style is just default it shows categories and unchecking this will just give you the Vita PSP GBA and homebrews and I guess show all categories is just the default categories that he has placed into this app and some of them are empty and I know I have more than what you're seeing here and that's what we're gonna do is fix that and I did fix the GBA it looks like it's working just fine now with the pictures unfortunately we will have to figure out how to get those and I know RetroArch has a copy of those because it downloaded everything for me so I will try to cover that in another video I just don't want this one to be too long so let's go and check out where we can uh, change those paths <clears throat> and we bef before we do that let, let me go back in here and you'll see in my GBA folder we're just gonna focus on GBA for now on my second part video which will be released either tomorrow or later this week we'll go into each folder and make sure that the application reads it well and we're able to see it on here and I'll also talk about the pictures too so stay tuned for that now in my Game Boy Advance folder we have one page actually two pages one and a half close to one and a half but I know I have a lot more right there's no way that this is all my game so let's go into our Vita shell <clears throat> and we have to change the config file so I will go and see where my ROMs are located under my UXO that's my SD2 Vita adapter so here's my ROMs folder and here are my GBA ROMs and look at all these games and now we're seeing the games that the application red there we go so the problem that I'm having here is that the games are in another folder so what I have to do let's test this theory out so let's try a game in the A section so we have Astro Boy let's get Astro Boy let's triangle we're gonna move this gonna go out here and we're gonna paste it down paste so there's Astro Boy it's available now that's the only game that's under the a alphabet right so let's go back to the launcher And we're going to rescan that folder. So let's go into GBA and let's see if it has it there. It doesn't, from what I'm seeing. Nope, I don't see A. So we're going to press triangle and we're going to rescan games in GBA category only. So let's do that. Now let's see if we can find Ash. There's Astro Boy right there. So now we figured out how to get those ROMs to be read through this app. We can have it in another folder. So it has to be outside in the main folder in order for it to read. And we're going to take a look at the config file and see how we can match the paths. <clears throat> so under UXO, I'm going to find my ROMs folder. Here it is. 
and we're going to test out the NES ROMs. So let's go under that folder and see what we got. And we have a ton of games in more folders. So each one is in a separate folder, which is going to be time consuming if I do want to have the app read everything correctly. And I do have a couple games outside here. So they should be able to read no problem. And they're ending on .nes. So it's a .nes file. Okay. Now to find the config file, we're going to go under the data folder. There we go. And we're going to find the SMLA folder 00001. Open that up and open the config.ini. And here you're going to see different paths for each category. Here's Vita. And what we want to find is the NES. So here it is, NES view mode. And the ROMs path is UXO ROMs slash NES. And if it's something different, just change it. I will make sure that it's completely the same. Exactly the same that I have set up. I think that's it, right? And you can press circle to go back and it will ask you to save your modifications. Yes or no. Hit yes. And let's double check the ROMs to make sure that I did that right. So it's under NES ROMs. So it will not work if I don't change that. Let me test that out and show you guys. So it has to match that name. Let's go under NES. Let's hit uh, settings triangle. Rescan games in NES category, hit OK, and nothing. So we do have to change that name. And it has to be exactly the same or else it will not work. So NES in caps with the capital R O M S backslash. Let's go back into data. Whoops. S M L A. Go into config.inei, go under NES, and we will change the ROMs path here. And these are all caps. Whoops. I can't see the, the keyboard on my screen here for some reason. Whoops. NES, ROMs. NES, ROMs. Okay. Let's save that. Let's double check. NES ROMs, perfect. Now let's go back into the launcher. Let's go under NES, hit triangle. Let's rescan games in the NES category only. Hit OK. And boom. Now we got the games that were outside of those folders. They weren't in their own specific folders, but they were just the, the actual ROM itself. And obviously it's not going to read everything because it's only reading that path. And I forgot to also show you guys um, how it actually scans or what it's, what it's looking for as for files. So let's go back under UXO. I know it's a little bit complicated, but... Uh, it shouldn't be too much work. Let's go back to the folder here, config.inei. And under NES, you'll see the ROM file extensions. So whatever it has ending in zip or NES, that's what the launcher will read and show in the app. So that's how that works. Now you might be asking yourself, is it worth it? It's really up to you if this is something that you will utilize. And I don't know. I like it a lot where we can see every single game on our system in one single location. And I don't have to go into RetroArch or go into Adrenaline or go on the home screen, look at my PS Vita games. I can just go here and select my favorites and boom, save some time. But uh, there is a little bit of work like we just did in order for it to work properly. Obviously, like I 
explained earlier, everyone's PS Vita is set up differently. You might have folders like I do. It might be a nice, quick, easy scan for you and have all your games available, which is great. Props to you. And that's how you basically set up the launcher. And once you launch the game, wherever it's located, whichever app it's using for it to you know, launch or whatever, like RetroArch is using the NES emulator to launch this game, it will start to play the game. And right now my RetroArch is a little screwed up. I did something where the screen is not showing up, so it's not working out for me. So this is a terrible example and I have to fix that. But that is it for this one, guys. I know it was a little long and I wanted to really talk about this app because I think there's a lot of potential here and maybe a few fixes that the developer could do to make it a little bit more user friendly. I know a lot of you already have a hard time just setting up the SD2 Vita and to go back into those files and change the paths and things like that might be a little bit confusing, but with just a little bit of patience and taking your time and just looking at all the files and moving those files in the config file, you should be able to figure it out no problem. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you really liked it. And if you have any questions, comment down below. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, guys. And I'll see you on the next one.